All right, guys, welcome back to another episode. Just found in it. The long awaited news is finally here. We've got Matt in the middle of us from vacation at Caravans, and we are Hello guys. very humble to be ambassadors for vacation at Caravans. And behind us is an example of a rough rider we got. Um, and we're going to be, and Matt has given us the opportunity to actually film our caravan from, from the start right throughout the store onto the back of our car. Well, how yeah, it's an exciting opportunity really to get a van um, and, you know, uh, yeah. have it filmed all going around Australia. It's uh, something that, uh, you know, we've got a couple of brand ambassadors that uh, we, we do work with, but uh, this one's been a little bit different in the process. So yep. uh, I'm excited to see it all come together. It's pretty, uh, you know, different from what we've done before, but I really uh, am proud to be able to be a part of the, the, um, the Just Vanning It and Vacation yep. team now. So yeah, yeah, looking forward to getting you guys on the road. And we can't wait. We've got big plans for this van this year. We've um, we got Cape York planned, possibly Arnhem Land and Tas Tasmania towards the end of the year and the beginning of next year. And a couple of islands up in Queensland. And um, yeah, we couldn't be happier than towing a, a, a vacation, a caravan behind us. And we actually paid for this van. It's not given to us by any means. So unfortunately, unfortun I did ask Manny. We did ask Manny, but he was like, nah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we're actually a paying customer. And when we, when we got the van on the road, we'll give you the, if there's any lows, we'll tell you about it. And possibly, hopefully there's only highs and we can only proud vacationer behind us. So yeah, let's get stuck into the build, eh? Yes, looking forward to it and uh, getting it on the, the dirt roads and see how it goes. I right, can't wait. All right, guys, this is the exciting part now. Now we're heading to the factory and we have a look at our bare chassis. So this chassis just arrived apparently yesterday afternoon. It's bare. And this is where we want to show you guys from here how we build our, um, our vacation a Rough Rider. So we're going to try and give you some more information about the chassis and we're going to show you what it's like and we're going to show you the build. So come on, New I'm pretty chassis. excited. Woo. So here he is. Here it is. Our chassis. So the chassis is made by Silvershine uh, chassis with an Elko suspension on it. It's a 186 caravan and that's the size we decided to go with. So um, this is how it rolls into the factory and goes through a production line. And um, we're going to watch this baby get built from the chassis up and roll out the other side. Here's the chassis. What do we have in front of us? So we've already said it's an 18, we went for an 80 in six. This is a flat floor chassis. So you see it comes around here, just excuse the mess, we're in the factory. You can, there's no wheel arches. So the floor is gonna actually be tightly flat. And the chassis has a two year warranty, I believe. And um, we've gone with the new Elko, well, I don't know if it's new, but it's new to them, tow assist. Dual axle or tandem axle, I think they call it. We went for so um, it's slightly a bit different um, for vacation because normally on an 80 and 6 you have a, have, a, have a single axle. We asked if we could do a dual axle. And so, just checking, yeah, they normally do a single axle, yeah, and you had them re engineer it for yes. you. Dual axle for towing. Now, we've like in the past we've had a the, the 20 foot universal which was a uh, tandem axle, and then we've had the single axle in the Nova, and I must say, I think the, the, the tandem axle is a bit better. So it's independent suspension, and I mean, guys, if Sue steps back, that is some serious ground clearance, I can tell you that. It's, it can't even stand straight, because I don't even know if the jockey wheel Well, hang on. Right. Let's give him a real view, because I am super short. All right, so... hang on. I'll grab the camera, and let Sue get involved. Yeah. But it is, it is a little bit up on the back, because obviously, guys, we're going to be putting weight onto this chassis, so it will drop, apparently it'll drop about 20, 20 50 to 20 mil and then um, we'll readjust the front so it'll obviously, but that is super high and that's something we wanted is ground clearance. We've got some awesome places planned for this here. Or stabilizing arms, oh god look at this, how are you going to get in there? With <laughs> difficulty. Okay. And also up front, I think this, I do believe we have an extended draw arm on the front here, 
we get in a custom toolbox made for the front for the boat motor and then up front of course we have the cruise master di35 because it's going to be a three and a half ton van but guys that's pretty much the chassis as it stands i hope i've covered everything we've got running uh, we're running the bf goodrich tires the ko2s on here that is something we've added just because we know like when we've had um some vans and they've got those um other tires on they're just generally hard to find and get stock if you're up in Cape York or something like that which is obviously um, one of our big things this year. Once the caravan's done we'll do a full reveal and then we'll also announce again the standard features and the upgraded features what we've gone for. Now we're no experts in the industry but we have been on the road for two years so we kind of know what we want and what we want and what we didn't want what we wanted to change so. All right guys morning we're going to recap quickly um, it's Monday morning so you'll see as we go along with this video um, it's it's all about days, it's not just one day the caravan gets built. So I've done a little bit of research on the tow assist myself to try and explain it a bit better. But what I'll also do is I'll drop a link in below in the description of a short four minute video explaining and showing a bit more about the tow, Elko's tow assist and why it's like so bene it's benefit beneficial for you to put it in. Three things, you got ABS braking on, 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 on the caravan itself. So let's talk about that for a minute. Cars, most cars come out with ABS braking now, so the car won't lock up, but some, what tends to happen is a caravan will lock up, and that way the caravan gets out of line, and that's when like accidents can happen, etc. So now with ABS in the car and the caravan, you can brake if you need to brake in an emergency, and nothing's going to lock up. Um, I think that's pretty cool that they've come out with. And then the second one is odometer. Now that's... Yes, it is part of safety because now you can actually control, like see how many kilometers your caravan's actually done, not by just guessing. And this has happened to us in the past that we just guess sort of, oh yeah, we think we've done 10,000 Ks, let's get it serviced. So you can actually monitor that now properly and you can get it serviced when it needs to get serviced. The third one, most important is the, and the, the sway control. So now what you've got is got ABS braking working with sway control. So where everyone sort of knows about the sway control, um, in that I'll drop in a little description below, a four minute video, of the, they've done a test on the Elko towing a caravan and I, I, I suggest you go down and watch that if you're really interested in knowing a bit more about the um, Elko tow assist, but that's what I could find, I reckon that's pretty good safety on the road in terms of caravan, so I'm glad we sort of got that in this van. Um, so yeah, so what happens now today is um, apparently, it's pretty fast paced from here, I mean we left you on Saturday and you can see, so you can show you, we already started doing some wiring. Um, I don't know what that's for. Um, we're here pretty early. Well, here we are. It's going to be very noisy in here, guys. So I hope you can hear me. I'm going to try and shout a bit. So what happens now is the boys are starting to work on the chassis. We've got a couple of wires to run for the um, for each drum of the um, the um, at, oh, the wheels. Run into the front, there. and then possibly even the floor. So it's all go 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 now. What do you think? How do you think it's going? It's pretty cool to see how everything happens in the factory. Hey? Like from start to finish, really cool. Had a walk around, seen all the different work areas, workstations, and what they do in each. So guys, we're getting ready now. Gentlemen's just cleaning the top here with some acetone to make sure it's nice and grease free, dirt free. And then now they're gonna start prepping to get the floor on, which whoop, we're actually gonna get a floor. Just like that, the last clip I did was five minutes. Floor's on. Yep. Yeah. I gotta say, they didn't have much time to get that floor on. They literally carried it over, just dropped it on. And it's really hard to believe that this is literally what we're going to be living on. Right, so we've got a gap. Honeycomb floor is on. Wire honeycomb floor. And as you can see, it's a one-piece floor. No timber. And it's like a 
I don't know, some sort of stick type of stuff. But it, mate, it is super hard and super durable as well. And like, if it's full water on top of the floor, if, if, if you're out the caravan and, it's, and it, let's say it's been there for an hour or two, it doesn't soak into the timber and it starts rotting the timber. So, bloody happy that that's in there because I don't know how many times Sue's left the sink tap running and gone for a walk and believe me it's happened or we've knocked over something or even stories you hear about people leaving a caravan going away and a, a, a park bursting and you're gone for four hours and the water's gushing out well this eliminates any wood rot so that's pretty cool gentlemen's just sand at the top here to get a bit of grip for the glue and then Alana goes on top yeah What's just happened? Uh, popped off for 20 minutes. Came for back. what? For what? For breakfast. Bacon and egg roll. And what I'm happened? I'm a tradie now. You're all the tradie, eh? Yeah. Look at you guys. Yeah, so I had a bacon and egg roll and um, got back and I completely missed them putting the floor down. 20 minutes, done. Floor's down, stripping, Blue. everything's going on. Done and dusted. So what do you, what do you reckon happens next? Uh, the walls. The walls go on. I'm no engineer, but I reckon the wall. So there you go. Look at this. Well, so, Chas has moved down the line. The boys are bringing through the walls. We'll explain that in a minute. They are pre-made. So that's why it's pretty important when you're building a van that you get all your, where you want your stuff pre the chassis arrival because it's all pre-made. And that is them over there. And we're gonna watch it go on and then hope the cavalry goes in afterwards. Into the black hole. Half an hour. Left. Half an hour. Quite okay. 15 minutes per wall. 15 minutes per wall. Bolted on, screwed on. And look at this. We actually have an area. So apparently the tunnel boot gets boxed in now. That's the next stop. And that'll be the bed. And obviously the cabinetry goes along there and the front end goes on. And then the builder comes in and all the cabinetry that they've built. That, so all, same as the walls. So you just looks through here. This is all pre-built. This is all like cabinetry. So this all comes in now. Um, oh, I can't tell you. By the end of the day, and then it shifts around, and that's when it sort of, I wouldn't say slows down, but, you know, wiring and plumbing and all that gets done in a different section. The wall, the skins go on the wall, all the testing gets done. But literally, it's, it is now, what, hang on, it is smoko for the boys. It's 10 o'clock Monday morning. We've been here since 20 past 6, and this is how far we've got already. That's insane, but, um, Let's pop outside, I'll show you a little bit about the, um, the aluminium framing. As this is the sort of, I don't know what you want to call it, like inside of the wall. There's a skin that comes on the outside. So as you can see, it's all aluminium. Part of this frame is TIG welded and the rest is pop riveted, right? 
Um, and also, you can see these guys, they pre-punch every single strip and then they put a grommet in so the electrical wires run through and are for, from corrugation and driving on the road, the wires don't chafe the sharp edges, which is pretty, but also, like we said, this is pre-made. So when the boys get back from Smoko, we're gonna hop over to the table because we're gonna give these guys a bit, of, a bit of room as well. And we're gonna try and show you um, how the framing sort of pop riveted and cut and the, 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 they got like jigs up there. So, you know, they only make a certain amount of sizes of band. So there's a jig for every size. And then it all just comes together. I think it's bloody amazing. come over to the cabinetry section now like I said before the cabinetry our cabinetry is already made by the time the chassis comes through um, and we're actually in the section now where you know the cabinetry gets made it's sort of like a production line it's all a production line here um, so we'll start on the one side where it all sort of goes through I'm not exactly sure who does what but we're gonna show you a little bit of the process so if you're Ordering a vacationer, or you're thinking about owning a vacation, you want to know about how your cabinetry is made, let's go and show you. So, guys, vacationer actually have their own CNC cutting machine here now. The machine's just been going, so they just program it in and it just sort of cuts all the cabinetry out and then it gets carried over to the cabinetry section and that's where it gets put together. So, it's pretty cool that it's all in-house. What's going on here? This is my oven. We found some uh, of our cabinetry that's pre-made. It's my spice rack. Well, okay. It's my drawers. Yeah. It's my sink and the countertop. So the bottom, we're going with a carbon mat. And the top of the lounge area is in white. And um, yeah, so we'll show you that. But apparently, there's our van over there. So it's just got the tunnel boot in it. Um, the builder will arrive at about 11. And Maddie reckons that that will be completely built by about 3.30 this afternoon. What's next? Right, so, as you can see, walls are up and on and cabinetry is in. No faces and apparently we should have a roof on today. Now guys, I'm not gonna lie to you, this is all in one day. And apparently also is the Sparky, he's coming tonight. He works weird hours, anyway, it doesn't matter. And we get to watch him tonight. We're gonna, I'm gonna stay back myself and Sue so we can get him wiring this van. And uh, Maddie reckons in the morning, she's already pre-wired and possibly have a skin on tomorrow. So it'll be totally enclosed. So um, it's been a pretty hectic day. I am absolutely exhausted. I'm not gonna lie to you. 
We've and you're just watching. We've been run. No, well, we've been filming and we've been running with these cars because I mean I can't believe it. But anyway, this is where it's, this is where it's at. So we're gonna wait, uh, and they're gonna put the roof on next. So. So guys, here we go. So you can see each grommet through here. The wires can run all the way. Every single one has got grommets in it. All the way. Um, I don't know how they run the plumbing. That's going to be a different I know, tomorrow. But um, the spark is here all night. So um, yeah, we're going to film a little bit of this. We've been here since 20 past 6. It is now still day 1, 5 o'clock. Tell you what, I'm starving, but anyway. And um, check this jig out they got going on here. They got all the cables here. This is where it'll start. And they'll pull the cables as they go. Well, good morning. Day two of the build. I'm back at the factory um, and we're going to see how the boys did last night and see what the next process is in our van. So come on, let's go in. It's noisy as in here, but I hope you can hear me. I'm trying to talk as loud as I can. So let's go and have a look. Well, here we are. It's moved down the line. The electrician did all the roughing last night behind me. I'll give you a look. And the insulation is going in. And it, I think after that the skins actually go on the van now, so it's going to look like a bloody caravan by the end of today, so yeah, let's have a look. Well, as you can see, it's a fast progress and um, yeah, we're inside the van, all the wiring, all the lights through, the radio, the, the power system, everything. Wow, but I reckon this is where it slows down because all the plumbing needs to all be done. Um, obviously the fit up for the electrical, the testing, um, all the appliances, the, the faces of all the cabinetry that's got to go on. We don't want to show you too much because we want to do that, uh, show you when it's actually complete. Um, yeah. And then, if we go outside, now, let me work my way around here. Outside, because we're getting a wall-mounted washing machine, um, good old Steve here, he's putting all the correct supports in for the um, wall-mounted washing machine. And the washing machine actually goes on because it gets bolted from the outside, and then the skin covers that. So, yeah, you, you won't be able to get to those bolts, but I suppose you don't, you, you want a clean finish on the outside of the van as much as possible. So it's all go, go, go going here today. Gentleman's just prepping the roof. Got the liner on underneath, the insulation's on, and the one piece fiberglass roof will go on in a minute. And along with the sides, and then it's gonna be a, a sealed caravan and look like this caravan sort of behind me. And they're gonna leave that sort of safety film on it for scratches and stuff like that. So we won't see the finished product until later on in the in the um, production line. So yeah.
basically got what a, a roof, a front all the way down is sealed with a checker plate, and that's the back. We're coming down, and we've got the checker plate on the back. We're ready for the rear bumper. Some exciting stuff happening on that rear bumper as well. Now we start the sides. So in the next few minutes, it's going to be a complete sealed uh, caravan. Right, so I've been told, next step, right? I've cut out around the caravan, around the holes. Right, now next up is, you see this stuff here, gives you that nice finish, and also the waterproofing as well, I think. So you'll come around, let's go around this way and have a look here. You can see. So we'll get a nice rubber beading all the way around all the way around the top there. So, um, yeah, let, let me get out the way so the boys can do the job, eh? So guys, that's it for today's work on our caravan. It's pretty much a sealed unit now. Obviously windows and fit off. So basically I've been told the van will come from here and turn up behind me. And then um, we're gonna come back tomorrow. It's only gone two o'clock, but they, these guys um, normally work about 3.30 because they start really early. And um, they got some vans in the way here too, which are due to be um, dispatched or customers can come pick them up or whatever the case is. And then we'll come back tomorrow and then they start doing the fit off. So hatches, awning, getting it all ready. Um, so yeah, we'll see you guys back here tomorrow and um, yeah, we'll pick up from there. Well, good morning. What are we, day number three, it's Wednesday. And I left the, the factory yesterday at about two o'clock because they told me that not too much more is gonna go on. So we arrived back at the factory and let's jump in and see what the boys have got done or busy doing. So here we are. So the caravan has moved down the line again. So I'll turn around here. That's where the van was yesterday when I left. And it is now on the last leg. So the, the front of the door of the factory is there and it's going down this line on day three. But this is where it slows down, I've been uh, told. So I'll give you a whip around and see what the boys have done and um, you'll see why it um, slows down from here because there's a lot of, it's like building a house really. Frame goes up pretty quick, roof goes on pretty quick, then the rough end start, which is one or two days, and then when it comes down to the finer details, that's where the time um, consuming part is. So anyway, look at this. We've got some hatch doors on. Now the reason I've just asked why we got this type of hatch and not some, um, like the thread fit plastic one is because it's a bigger tunnel boot which is pretty cool as well because on the other side is where we'll have the ziggy pull out because we were going to have on the front here the normal standard toolbox with a jenny slide and a uh, barbecue slide on the other side but because i got an outboard motor we've got to find somewhere for it so we're getting a custom toolbox made for that so the tunnel boot's big enough for the ziggy and See if we can open this up here. Yeah, plenty of room in there. Get some lights in there as well, so we'll be able to see at night when rolling into some campsites. But um, yeah, let me show you what they've done so far. Here we go. We'll start here. Hot water units busy getting plumbed in, and some of the electrical obviously is here ready to go. They've already put the toilet cover on now we'll get into that on the review of the video why we went with a cassette toilet again outdoor shower two fillers vent for the fridge which is not a normal vent you know we want one of these to stop the dust from going in 
I think that's pretty cool. Windows are still to go in, and like I showed you up front, we've got the hatch on already. Let's swing around the front. Other hatch side is on. Oh, look, they've already put the, um, we've got a bit of storage in the back here, which is going to be pretty cool. And then, um, yeah, so windows are not in. Um, so, yeah, the, there's a few boys working on it today. So it just popped up inside. You can see the insulation for the fridge has gone in. A little bit of polystyrene on the back, but the stuff here to try and keep the fridge working at a correct temperature. Woo, it's all go, go, go. I don't want to show you too much inside because I don't want to give everything away. So um, I hope we got our color selection right. So it steps on. And you can see, we dropped this down 50 mil. It'll come down about there, which I think is going to be better. And if you come around this way, you can see here, now we got 50 mil down to about, about here, but in, underneath you've still got room for the, for the wheels to, you know, if there's any tilt in the caravan. So I think that's going to be the go. And Jared, the graphics guy, has come and put some decals on our caravan. So yeah, it's going to start looking a little bit spliff, I reckon. Well, it's sexy. Look at the first one's on. You. What's been done today, decals have been put on the caravan, hot water units been put in, um, a couple of hatches have been done, or actually all the hatches have been done, guys are putting countertops in, um, old mate's back inside now, he's busy starting to put in some um, the lights on the, in the roof, I don't know, they didn't get around to the windows when I thought they were going to do the windows, so um, yeah, it's looking pretty, pretty flash. So I think we call it a day and we'll come back tomorrow. Um, I will find out if they're going to do the windows. If they don't do the windows today, well, I'm going to go off, take all the footage and start making videos of this build for you guys. Um, yeah, if you ask me if I'm happy with the caravan so, so far, definitely. You can see the smile. You can almost, it's like having a hanger in your mouth. You just want to smile all the time. So, super pumped. Here we go, day four. Let's see what the boys have done. So this is where all the small stuff gets done. So you, you turn your back and I reckon something's on the caravan. But um, we're gonna go through, have a look, catch up with what's going on. Here we go, windows are in. And the big toolbox, the white elephant up the front has arrived. We're a bit concerned about this. That's what's gonna house the, um, the outboard motor. I've measured it but we're worried about the ball weight now. Hang on, how do I open this? There you go. Have a go up the front. Hopefully if the ball weight's okay. Boys are putting the, um, the awning on. Windows are in. Oh, we've got lights on the side as well. There you go. Fans are in, hatches are in. Don't want to show you too much. This will probably be the last time we look at the van. Down this side, hot water bought units in from yesterday. Some 240 stuff going on, some lights going on outside. Both windows are in. Yeah. Well guys, I think that's gonna be it um, on the caravan build because we don't wanna give too much away because we're gonna do a reveal video um, next week. So um, yeah, thanks for watching this build. Myself and Sue are super excited, I'm sure, as you can see in the video, um, uh, just from our reaction of building this caravan. So we can't wait to do a reveal video next week for you. But um, from myself, Sue, just vanning it. You guys have a great week, and uh, we'll see you next week to show you the van.